So what I have here today is a complete set of the 2017 Fast and Furious Hot Wheels set. It was exclusively sold at Walmart in the States, so it makes it kind of limited. Um, especially that there's one vehicle, I'll point it out when I'm done going through each one, that's uh, actually been scalped up. But anyways, we'll start off with the first car and then uh, make our way all the way to the end. The first car on this side is the from the first movie is the Honda S2000. Um, this was released in the last set, the 2016 set, I believe, and it was in pink. Um, that was actually from Too Fast, Too Furious. Um, I did do a review on that set, and that was actually my first set that I completed, because the Fast and Furious sets were originally kind of hard to find, but um, since I've been starting collecting, I've been finding them pretty easy. Now, uh, for this video, I did actually do a little research on this. Um, I really just looked up the driver's name and, you know, if there's any little information I could add. Um, this was in the first movie and it was driven by a guy named Johnny Tran. Um, I looked this up on a Wicca site. I think it's the Fast and Furious Wicca site. And there's a little more information uh, for each car if you want specs. Um, yeah, we'll look the front card art first and then we'll look the back. Um, there's eight cars to collect, and I have all eight, like I said. Um, the backs are nothing different. I think on one of them, there's actually a sticker instead of this stamp. Um, maybe they just, uh, made it a different date or something. Anyways, let's just take this thing out and give it a spin. Yeah, what I thought it was kind of weird is that it had snowflakes on it. Um... It's pretty cool. And I did finish watching most of the movies except the one that's currently in theaters, um, Fate of the Furious, I think it's called. It's a pretty cool car. The next one is the one that everybody was scalping up. Um, I was able to get the whole set at one store, didn't have to go to multiple stores. So this is the Nissan Skyline GTR. And it was driven by Brian O'Connor in the second movie. And then there's like a little clip. I remember watching it on DVD that he, he's being chased by the police and hunted. And he goes through races and stuff. Well, he buys this car from like a, a car lot um, after this woman drops him off. And then he uh, customizes it. And then it's seen at the beginning of Too Fast, Too Furious. And uh, from there, I don't think it's there that much. I think it was only that first few scenes of the movie where he races it and then he gets caught and then the car gets impounded. Anyways, let's just look at it. Now, um, I saw this online going for like anywhere between five to maybe, or actually maybe a little lower than that, but um, the highest price that I've seen was $35 and I don't know if that guy's ever going to get money. And it was actually on a local buying and selling site called uh, Offers Up. Yeah. Sometimes, this, like the regular Nissan Skylines, are probably a lot easier to find because they're more wildly released. You can find them at every store. Well, this is actually only released at uh, Walmart. So if you can't find it now, chances are you're going to have to buy it from a, a scalper, dealer, or reseller, whatever you want to call those guys. Okay, the next car. Oh, bump the camera over. The next car I have, car number three, is the 70 Plymouth Roadrunner. Now, um, this had some weird information on it. It was, I believe, driven in the third, the third movie, Tokyo Drift, and I th believe also the seventh movie is like, uh, well, the actually the Tokyo Drift actually takes place. I believe after the sixth movie, because um, the one of the main characters, Dominic uh, Toretto, uh, goes to Tokyo and he brings back his uh, friend's body. Um, I'm trying not to uh, give out too much information because some people don't want spoilers. I pretty much don't care. Um, so this was driven by Dom. Um, there were a couple different cars of this in the movie, but I believe this is actually the one that Dominic drives. His nickname's Dom in the movie. Anyways, we'll just take a look at the car so I don't have to stumble over my words. It's 
pretty cool car. Um, I believe in one of the movies, um, uh, Brian and uh, and Dom talk about cars. Um, Dominic, I believe, likes the muscle cars, and uh, Brian likes like skylines and stuff. They argue kind of playfully in the movie. Okay, and the next car, which is the fourth car, um, which one is that? It's kind of messed up here. Oh, here it is. The fourth car is this Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Um, I believe it's actually, in the movie, it's the 99 Porsche 996 instead of the 911. Um, maybe Hot Wheels just didn't make one. Anyways, here's the card art. Um, let's see. It was uh, one in a race during the movie um, by Dominic, and then it's later driven around by Brian for a little bit, and then it like pretty much disappears. Uh, okay, we'll take it out. And some of these cars aren't really featured in the movie all that long. A couple of them are, a couple of them aren't. Give it a spin. It's a pretty nice car. And it's got, uh, like, plastic headlights. It's part of the windshield. Um, some people customize it, and then they can make uh, real working headlights on it. So the next car is the fifth car. Now, this one was probably in the movie maybe five minutes. Um, in the fifth movie, they were stealing cars off a train, and uh, this was one of them. Um, this is actually the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster, but... I looked up on the movie Swicka site. It's called the Grand Sport Stingray. Um, Mia, Brian, and Dom, they try to steal cars off the train. And, uh, like, towards the end, they were uh, uh, going to be clipped by a bridge. So uh, Brian had to get off real fast, and they jump on this car. Um, Dominic was driving it, and he uh, catches Brian in the car, and then they have to jump off. Or actually, I think... They jump in the water. I, Well, you know, you have to see the movie, I guess. But it's only been in there for a few minutes before it gets destroyed. Um, we'll give it a spin. This was also released as a, in the regular main lines. Not probably as popular as some of the other cars that they had. Still pretty cool. And the next one, which is the sixth one... From uh, Fast and Furious 6 is the uh, 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Now online it was the Escort MK RS uh, 1600. Um, this car was bought in a movie by one of the characters named Tosh in auction. And it was driven by Brian. I think it gets damaged but I don't think it really gets destroyed. And this is one of those cars that are featured in the movie just a little bit. Pretty cool. Um, this one was released to the main line as a Fast and Furious car. Um, same with the Roadster. If I didn't say it was actually the Fast and Furious colors. But um, I'm not sure how popular the car was on the main lines. I think a lot of people liked them. But you know, it showed up a lot. It was later recolored. Um, th the color on this one's actually a little darker blue. Than the, the original release. Okay, the next one, which is car number seven, I think it's this one, is the 94 Toyota Supra. Um, in the movie, it's actually the 95 Supra MK4, and it's only featured in the movie a little bit. Take it out. And it's driven by Brian, and it's like the last scene of the movie. Um, as we know in real life, the guy that plays Brian, um, Paul Walker, actually dies. So I believe this was his last movie, and he doesn't die in the movie, so they probably just wrote him off, I guess. Okay, it's a pretty cool car. It's got some front light tamples and some rear tamples. And it looks like it might be the as the better tample job overall. Um, I haven't really been paying attention to that. But it looks like it has better detail. Let's see what other car. Grab this one. Yeah, there's no headlight detail, but rear light detail. Probably because when they use the paints on there, they got to sacrifice one thing for the other. Okay, and last car, 
which is this Subaru WRX STI. Um, it's actually called, at least online, Subaru WRX uh, Impressa, Subaru Impressa actually, uh, GH. Um, let's see, and it's a 2012 Impressa. There's the card art, and we'll take it out. And this is the eighth car. Um, this car was driven for a little bit. It was during one scene, they jump out of the plane with it. The parachute's attached to it. And they're trying to, I believe, catch somebody. And then bring them back to their hideout and stuff. Pretty cool car. Um, doesn't have any tamples in the back or any headlights. But it does have like these other tamples right here. This gray and black. And the black on the hood. And then that's a pretty cool car. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, the set was pretty much okay. Um, let's see if I have a favorite in here. Yeah, it, it, nothing really stands out to me, but they're all pretty okay. So if you want this set, chances are you might be able to find some of the cars. Um, depending on when you look. Probably right now you could probably only find maybe these three. And, you know, you probably can't find the skyline. But, um... Anyways, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.